In this box, I've got the Leupold VX5HD 3 to 15 by 44 scope. And in this video, we're gonna take a very in-depth look at it. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. The Leupold VX5HD 3 to 15 by 44 is the scope that I picked for a lightweight, flexible, long range capable hunting rifle platform. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the scope itself, put it through its paces with some scientific data, cover all the specs and features and speeds and feeds, and then put it on the rifle and put it through its paces in a hunting context. So I'm gonna waste no time and get this baby out of the box. So here we go. In the box, we've got the optic itself. We've got these scope caps that have the rubber retention bands, uh, a little bit of a label about the CDS technology. We've got the battery for the illuminated reticle, instructions, and a sticker. So I haven't looked through this yet. That is definitely going to do the job very clear. Okay, so next let's take a look at some specs and features. Okay, now for some specs and details. The full name of this optic is the VX-5HD 3 to 15 by 44 CDS-ZL2 Side Focus HTMR. Okay, MSRP is $1199. With a 3 to 15 magnification range, I love this because it's kind of like having a 3 to 9 on a hunting rifle, but you get to go all the way up to 15 which is great. It's got a 30 millimeter tube, which is gonna work with a variety of different scope rings and scope mounting systems. Uh, 10th mil clicks, which I really like. It's got this zero stop that's very familiar from the Mark V HD line of scopes that I'm a huge fan of. So I'm also liking that, definitely. Second focal plane, so even at minimum magnification, I can still see those crosshairs really well. That is very important to me on a hunting scope does have an illuminated reticle, which I'm also a fan of if you get down towards dusk uh, or happen to be varmiting and hunting near, near nighttime, that kind of thing. Uh, we have illuminated targets here at Ultimate Reloader that are really fun to shoot if you have an illuminated reticle. So really good stuff there. CDS-ZL2, Zero Lock 2. I'll get into more detail on some of these features when we get this uh, optic on the rifle and get it out and start to work with it. It's got the side focus. You're not gonna find that on all hunting scopes. And again, that's an important feature. So let's talk about operating environment. This is waterproof, it's fog proof, and it's shock proof. So that extreme robustness is a super important attribute to me. If I'm gonna be out hiking through the brush, it's rained recently, uh, the thing is getting completely wet, it's gonna get knocked around in a hunting environment. So all of those things are great to have in a premium hunting optic and 19.7 ounces weight. So that gets us started understanding what this scope is all about. Next, I'm gonna mount the scope on the Ultimate Reloader Optics test rig where we can put it through its paces in a laboratory environment. I'll share some of those details and then we're gonna get it mounted on a really cool hunting rifle. So as a part of my story covering the Bergara Ridge Carbon, which you see here, you know, we put this scope through its paces in that story. You're definitely gonna to wanna to check that out standalone. We also have a standalone story covering the Hawkins Precision Hybrid Rings. These are great for a hunting rifle and really complete this package well. In terms of getting the Leupold VX5 HD 3 to 15 by 44 all set up, I followed my normal process. I took the bolt out. I got it set up on a bench rest. We set up the long shot camera system, which is great if you want to see where your shots are landing. That can be hugely helpful during sight in. And I looked down the bore, I looked at the reticle, uh, I made them agree by adjusting the scope turrets, and I wasn't even on paper. Uh, but I looked through the bore again and I thought, okay, I can do a better job lining this up. And that got me on paper, which was, which was great. And uh, with a few adjustments, I was zeroed. And I'll have to say I really like the cleanness of the reticle for hunting, and I really like the magnification range. You know, being able to go from three to nine like you normally would, but then wow, you can go all the way up to 15. That just feels like a real extension of that magnification range that I have on some of my three to nine scopes. And it's a compact form factor, and it 
is lightweight in terms of compared to a lot of the other scopes that I have with these kinds of features. Love the side focus. It's got the illuminated reticle, which is great for those dusk scenarios, that, that sort of thing. So after sighting in, we took the scope out to go and shoot for fun. And this is where things really picked up. We took the Jeep road up to the Ridgeline range and we set up an IPSC target on a DM targets folding multi-use stand and hanger. And this was, this was a good kind of test of a hunting scenario. Can I hit a deer easily at 100 yards standing offhand? I started on a barricade with a bag, but then I stood offhand and the scope is really clear. I really enjoyed how it looked. I did not notice chromatic aberration. It just looked incredibly great and crisp, and that made it really easy to see the target, which is actually not very visible, right? The sort of banged up gray steel with black and splot splotches on it kind of blends in with the shade where I put the target and the surrounding foliage. But with this optic, it was really easy to pick out, even though it's not an easy thing to see and no problem landing those shots. So after that, we went out and shot off of a barricade and that was a lot of fun as well. A uh, variety of situations that you're gonna encounter when hunting, which obviously is what this setup is for. And this rifle and this scope, very confidence inspiring, I would be really happy to carry this entire package and use it in a hunting type scenario. So after all that, we went to the lab test, got out the Ultimate Reloader Optics test rig and put it through its paces. So this is one of the first videos where we're showing the Ultimate Reloader Optics test rig, which I've been working on for a number of years. Started with a wood prototype. Now, as you see it, it's kind of near its final form. I still have some things to work out and some optimizations, but this is an amazing setup. We could place the scope precisely in front of a camera. We can move the camera down to one half of a thousandth of an inch. And it's funny, you wouldn't think that that would matter until you start looking at the image and you look at the alignment and you see how much a thousandth of an inch can affect. It's, it's pretty amazing. And with this rig, we can move you know, X and Y and Z down to that half thousandth of an inch. And we can also do precise rotation to make sure that the center line of the scope and the center line of the camera are collinear, right? That's the goal. That's where you want to start your test from. And so we can do things like test tracking, uh, zoom accuracy, parallax, and image distortion. So we started with the tracking test. And here we have our test chart that goes up 10 MOA, down 10 MOA, 10 MOA to the left and 10 MOA to the right. So at 100 yards, it's exactly calibrated for 20 MOA overall height and 20 MOA overall width. And you can see we start with the baseline, get it aligned as good as we can, and then in post-production we can take a really close look and look at the relative offsets in each direction. So we go up 10 MOA, which brings the reticle down to the bottom of the test frame. We go up 10 MOA. We go 10 MOA to the left, which brings the reticle to the right, and to the right 10 MOA, which brings the reticle to the left, right? It goes the opposite direction that your shots will land. So uh, these results, as you can see here, um, we're real close on these. And it looks like, you know, that the reticle itself is thick enough that it's a little bit hard to tell if the initial position was very, very slightly off, but tracking looks really good. Uh, especially for a hunting scenario like this. This is absolutely outstanding. And the next test was parallax. And what we do here is we take the camera from being completely collinear with the center line of the scope. We move it to the right 50 thousandths of an inch, back to the center, and then over to the left 50 thousandths of an inch. All with the parallax setting set to the range that we're testing at. In this case, it was 100 yards. Will the optics work correctly to account for head movement. It's kind of one of those tests you want to do. You move your head side to side to make sure your parallax is perfect. You don't have POI shift going on. Um, point of aim specifically, which affects point of impact, right? And here you can see all three of these charts look identical. So in terms of 
that side to side movement, the resiliency to that, the parallax setting is working perfectly. Okay, finally we have image distortion. And what we do here is take one frame from the video and we kind of align it with a rectangle to see if we've got any kind of pin cushion effect. Either way, if the lines are not perfectly straight, either direction, horizontal or vertical, then we know we have some image distortion going on. And as you can see right here, we have an absolutely perfectly straight image. So I have to say, I really like this optic for a hunting application like what I've put together here. And I think this rifle would be absolutely outstanding for hunting deer in this area, for hunting bear, uh, any of that kind of big game. Uh, if I was gonna go up to elk, I'd probably use a 6.5 PRC, which this rifle is also available in. Uh, or maybe, who knows, something crazy like a 338 Lapua, something like that. But this package, perfect for a lot of the hunting that would go on around here. Here's what I'd like to know is, what do you think of the Leupold VX5 HD 3-15 by 44 scope? What do you think of this rifle package? Do you have this scope? What kind of rifle do you have it on? And what are you hunting with it? Or what kind of shooting are you doing? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.